A group within the facilities department is responsible for facilitating all construction projects of all different sizes across the Rutgers campuses. Any project from $50,000 to hundreds of millions of dollars falls under their scope of work. Let's spotlight the project services group. Over the last uh, almost two decades, uh, this department, University Facilities, has done about $2.5 billion worth of work. And uh, we've added uh, well over 4 million square feet of space to the uh, university. And that's enterprise-wide. So uh, we're very proud of that. Our team is 30. Uh, project managers, plus or minus. There's quite a few individuals out there working on projects. We're, we're churning uh, any given day 150 to 200 projects. We have a lot of things going on. It's not just large projects. But we're experts in academic, research, healthcare, and administrative space. The recent rankings uh, where we, uh, we came in 15th for public uh, universities and 40th overall. We're proud of what we've done and we think we had something to do with that. Project services make sure to meet extensively with each client to make sure each build and project will fit their needs. This includes all the schools within Rutgers University, chancellors, and any other key university stakeholders. We take a project pretty much from either um, a feasibility study or schematic design forward, or some of the smaller projects we uh, manage uh, you know, from the get-go. A large project is like steering a, a cruise ship, if you will. You, know, you have some time to adjust. Uh, small projects are like driving a speedboat at top speed. So um, that's what we're out there doing. Project Services works closely with many IP&O and Rutgers groups to advance projects, such as infrastructure and renovations, codes and standards, planning development and design, business services, strategic services, OIT, and more. Project managers must communicate with all these groups to make sure projects get complete. You know, I give all the credit to the team, right? Our success is, is, is the team of 30 plus or minus project managers. They have a lot of experience. They know what they're doing. There is a lot of balls in the air when you're a project manager. It's, it, you know, it's, it's like watching a juggler, you know. And then if you're, if you're driving a speedboat for the small project and you're juggling, you, know, you can imagine, you know, there's just a lot going on. So uh, I give them a lot of credit and it's our success and all that we've done here the billions of dollars of work, the square foot that we've added and renovated, you know, is uh, they deserve all the credit. One of the other things that I do want to mention, I just want to give a shout out to uh, a few folks. Our project managers make it all happen. Uh, but we, you, you know, we have a couple of directors, uh, Shai Patel, Tom Bolin, who look after things. Um, Shai uh, looks after capital projects in Camden and New Brunswick. Uh, also RBHS projects enterprise-wide and Tom looks after things uh, on our Newark campus. Uh, we also have a, a contracts um, administration and uh, procurement division that um, uh, bids our board approved projects and, and executes contracts. So uh, Denise Catrino, Lori Seymour, uh, they work uh, for that division and they keep things moving there. And I can't forget to give Tia Waters a shout out. She's our program administrator and she keeps us all in line and keeps everything moving and flowing. Nick, who comes from a family of builders and is a Rutgers alumni and fan, has found inspiration from a past Rutgers alumni and basketball coach, Jim Valvano. I'm inspired by uh, the late Jim Valvano. He gave uh, a never give up speech I'm a cancer survivor, so I'm, I'm, I'm inspired by that speech. And there's a couple of things that he actually said uh, during the speech, too, that inspire me. And it's, uh, if you want to live a full day, you want to do three things. And that would be, you want to cry, uh, you want to do some thinking, uh, and you want to laugh. So if you do those three things in, in the matter of a day, then you're, then you're living a full day and, and hopefully a full life. So. Paul, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Thanks for communications, for reaching out to me, and uh, have a great day.